Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, how Hello, are you teacher. guys? Hello. Teacher. Welcome. Welcome, Marielas. Juan Antonio. <coughs> Sorry. We have Christian. Welcome. Who else we have? Edith. Welcome. Veronica Alegría. Welcome. Who else is connecting? Jessica Rivas. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? It's good to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Rosana, welcome. We have Jonathan too, right? Welcome, guys. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de? How was your weekend? Very good, teacher. It was very good. Nice. That's good. Did you have time to rest? ¿Tuvieron tiempo de descansar? Did you have time mm. to rest? I worked Sunday. You worked on Sundays, right? So it's not like normal on Sunday for you. <laughs> Hoy no tuve descanso. <laughs> you didn't have rest. All right. But you worked a complete day. Eight hours. Ocho horas al día. You work eight hours a day. Yes. De yeah, right. ocho a cinco y media. <laughs> yes. It's more time, right? Yes. All right. It's sacrifice, right? We sacrifice. That is good, but it's good to be in activity, to have a job. Thank God that we have a job. Let's continue here. Remember the previous class? We were with the uses of can and can't, right? So we have abilities or things that is possible for us to do or abilities that we don't have. Now, to review, we have an exercise here to remember. Let's check here. The first one, what ability does it represent in number one? Draw. Draw? Aha, uh -huh, that's Draw. good. Okay. Give me an example, please. Use can. I can draw. A draw. I can. I can draw. Very good job. That's nice. I can draw. That's good. Okay, let's write it down here. I can draw. Right. It's an ability. That's good. Marielos, give us another example. What about the next? Number two. I can, can swim. I can? I can swim. I can swim. I can swim. swim. Swim, very good. Affirmative, right? <clears throat> okay. Very good. I can swim. Excellent. Catherine Rebecca. Hola, hola. Hello. Good evening. Welcome, Catherine. Let's see. Me voy conectando, teacher. <laughs> oh, okay. We are here like a, to try to remember about the previous class with the use of can and can't. Do you remember? Uh, yes. Camera. Ah, okay. But what action? What action can we do with the camera? Mm, photos. I okay. Can, I can. I can, I can take photos. Photo. That's good. I can take photos. I can take pictures. Thank you. Okay. Jessica Rivas. What about number four? Give me an example, please. Jessica Rivas, can you listen to us? Number four. Number four. Now, it depends on your information. Can or can't? I can't. <laughs> can't? Yes? Okay, give me the complete answer, please. The complete sentence. Como, como, como se dice, porque está cantando, ¿verdad? Se dice como singing, algo así. Sing, sing, in the base sing. form. So, can or can't? Uh, in your case, can. Can. can affirmative, yes, affirmative. I can sing, affirmative. okay, that's very good. Okay, I can sing. What I Antonio? can sing, can sing, very good. What Antonio, are you there? Uh, what about can... number five? Five. She five. can she can cook. Okay, that's good. She can cook. Can cook. 
Excellent. What about the next one? Veronica, alegría. Number six. You can give me affirmative or negative. What action can we use here? Pero ahí que sería que solo está usando la computadora. Ajá, uh -huh. you can say here that I can use the computer. I can I, uh, create programs, for example. I can use computer. I can use the computer. computer. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you have representing an ability. Great. Thank you. Let's continue then with Judith. With number seven. Can be affirmative or negative. That's for your information. Edit. Ah, perdón, teacher. Le <laughs> escuché mal. Este sería, pero no sé cómo se dice piano. Ah, piano, it's the same, it's the same, no change. Ah, ok, sería entonces, es, uh, a sing dijo, que no es canto, es. Eh, sing is this one, like Ajá. cantar, but the other one is play, the piano, play, the piano. Ok, entonces sería uh, afirmativo y a, uh, uh, ok, I can, piano. Ah, excellent. I can play. Play. The piano. The piano. That's correct. Good. Here, there is something very important in the case of play, because you're talking about a musical instrument. Not all the time play is referring to games. No siempre play se refiere a jugar, sino también puede ser de tocar un instrumento musical. So, it depends on the complement, right? If it's a game like a sport, I can play soccer, I can play a chess, I can play basketball, it's a sports. But musical instrument, you create music with that. What about number eight, Christian? Yes. Hey, Christian. Um, hi. Hi. In... Can paint. He. You said he? He can. She. Okay, yeah. that's good. He can paint. He can paint. That's good. Right. Good one. Okay. So in this case, we remember, right, about the affirmative form using can. That remember that we have four abilities. Now, let's check. We are going to read them. Let's start with the first one. René. Hi, René. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're going to read it. Number one, I can draw. I can draw. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. Welcome, girl. Good evening. Good evening. I can swim. I can swim. Thank you. Let's continue. Jessica Esmeralda. Number three. Jessica Esmeralda. Then let's see. Luz Garcia. I can take photos. I can take photos. Very good. Thank you. Jessica Vanessa. Number four. I can swim. I can sing. I can sing. Let's repeat it, please. Escuche number two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> number four. <laughs> number four, I can sing. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. That's good. Gen C, continue with number five, please. Yeah. Hello. Um, number five. A mí me toca. Yes. Ah, bueno. It's yes. your turn. ¿Cómo? It's your turn. Su turno. Ah, bueno. <laughs> eh, she can cook. Cook. Very good. That's nice. Roxana, number six. I can use the computer. Really good. Thank you. Miguel Antonio, number seven. Buenas noches, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. 
Eh, perdón por I... no contestarles que estoy en el trabajo. You are busy, eso. you are at work. Okay, so you are listening. I can play the piano. All right, very good job. That's nice. Good. Ada. Ada Lisette, number eight. Ada Lisette, are you present? Lenin? Lenin, are you here? Jonathan? Hello? He can paint. He can paint. He can paint. Very good, Joe. That's nice. Okay. In this exercise, we saw a review of that, but we are going to continue with more examples with it. Let's erase this and let's move to the next part. Now we're going to watch a video. This one is about pronunciation can and can't. I have to put emphasis, right? When it's affirmative and when it's the negative part. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to say. It's okay? The video? No problem? No, no problem. No problem. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Now, natural. When using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. All right, after that short video, we notice like to put emphasis, right? When you have affirmative, but also with the negatives that is very important because if not, as we mentioned in the previous class, it can be confusing. Are you saying that is affirmative or negative? So put emphasis on it. Let's check on this exercise. It says, Kayla is talking about things she can and can't do. Complete these sentences, then compare with the partner. Let's check here. What about number one? Look at her drawing here. He's saying that it's negative, right? It's like a child's drawing. <laughs> so in the first, he says, I can't draw. What about number two? What do you think? Can. I cannot. Can, Positive. right? Can, right? It can be can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Imagine she's even in a theater. So she has the ability. So I can act. What about number three? Oscar? I can't sing. I can't sing. Look at the man. So he's like, no, please. Sing. Please, silent. He's saying the man, right? So she can. <laughs> Shut up, please. <laughs> Shut up, please. <laughs> so that will be negative, right? Can't. I can't sing. What about number four? Mariela? What do you think? I can I can't fix car. I can fix cars. cars. All right. That's correct. Good one. Okay. So representing this. Now tell me, it depending on the ability that you see here. You tell me if you have the ability or not. Edit, tell me. Tell me about an ability that you have. 
from these four pictures? Um, no le entiendo la pregunta, teacher, lo siento. ¿Algun, ¿Alguna habilidad de, de estas cuatro imágenes? De las que yo tengo. Ajá. No, me gusta cantar. Me gusta wow. ir a karaoke. Ok, that's good. Then you can say, I can. Mm -hmm. I, can, I, can I can sing. I can sing. Very good. That's nice. What about you, eh, Rene? Of these four pictures, what abilities do you have from here? I can see. Sing. I can sing. Yeah, I can act. And act. I can. I can act. act. Okay, we have actors, we have singers here. Eh? That's good. That's nice. Cool. Thank you. You see, a lot of abilities that we have here. Now, let's have some other exercises here. And to put emphasis on affirmative and the negative. Pronunciation can and can't. Let's practice it. In an affirmative, say, I can act but I can't sing very well. I can act, but I can't sing very well. If you observe here in the negative manner, you put like here, like imagine that in the negative is longer N. It's like a, you duplicate, quadruplicate the letter N here. So it's not simple, I can't. If not, it's very difficult to identify the sound. So you can put longer and take more time to pronounce the negative. I can't sing very well. I can't run fast. I can't play chess. I can't skateboard. I can't swim very well. So these are abilities that I don't have. Now tell me something else. It says here, we're going to read them and you tell me. You are going to read them, right? To put emphasis. Christian, read number one. Affirmative, please. I can sing. Very good. Now read the negative. I can't swing, sing. Sing. Very good job. Nice. Can see. Continue. Number two. Um, I can't add. I can't. I can't. Add. I can't. I can't act. Act. That's correct. You see, it's the difference, right? Minimum difference, but it's necessary to put emphasis on the negative. Good. Gabriela. Welcome, Gabby. Hi. Go ahead with number three, please. And make the difference. I can't dance. I can't dance. I can't. I can't. I can't dance. Very good job. Thank you. Verónica Cepeda. Number four. I can swim. I can't swim. That's all right. Very good job. Nice. Let's continue. Roxana. Let's repeat. Yeah, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Eh, para decir no puedo, se puedo poner eh, cannot. Exactly. Yes. Perfectly. You can use it. Just that that one is the complete manner. In this case, it will be, I cannot sing. The two forms are correct. It's not very es... common, but it's correct. No es muy común, pero es correct. Pero es más fácil ver. It's easier. Okay, es más ese, fácil. Ese, ese, ese se confunde exactly. más. Exactly. Es más fácil para pronunciarlo y también para identificar. But the two Me forms are que... correct. Me decía que repitiera cuál. Number one, please. Afirmativa. I can sing. Ajá. Uh -huh. negative? I can't sing. I can't sing. Repeat it. Negative, please. I can't sing. That's good. Right? You made the difference there. Very good job. Nice. Jonathan, continue with number, number two. I can't act. Mm -hmm. I can't act. I can't act. That's correct. Excellent. Okay, continue, Jessica Rivas. Number three. I can dance. I, I can dance. can't dance. Repeat negative, please. I can't 
dance. Let's go right. Yes, I can't dance. I can't. Lo siento, a mí siempre me ha costado pronunciar la T. Pronounce it like, I can't, can't. It's like when I you say, como cuando estoy I ruda. can't. I can't. Uh -huh. Yes. I can't. <laughs> Very good, Joe. That's nice. Thank you. Ada, are you pressing now, Ada? No? Yes, yes. teacher. There you are. Hello, girl. Welcome. Um, I can't sing, girl. I, I can swim. Number four. Oh, I can. I can swim. Very good. Negative. I can't swim. That's correct. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Good exercise. Now, let's go ahead with another one. Here we have a reading. We are going to put the practice, the reading here. It says uh, base jumping. Have you heard about base jumping? Do you know this sport? No, you haven't heard about it. It's an extreme sport. Es uno de los deportes extremos and dangerous y peligrosos. And this one consists on jumping from a hike. Este consiste en saltar desde una gran altura, pero eh, colgando de un objeto fijo, como un puente, un edificio. But it's, it's dangerous. That's mm -hmm. why it's base jumping. It okay. says, base jumping is a dangerous sport. People jump off buildings, bridges, and other high places. The yes, board, the teacher, disculpe. Bridge. This one, this one, yes. puentes. Buildings. Oh, buildings, no. edificios. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. okay. And bridges, and bridges, they are puentes. Puentes, uh -huh. okay. So it's That's... like this, you're welcome. People jump off buildings, bridges, and other high places. The Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is... 824 meters, 2,717 feet tall. So it's a, a big altitude. That's a very scary jump. But Fred Fujian and Vince Freefet of France can jump it. They also enjoy skydiving and parachuting. Skydiving is this sport that they practice. Have you ever practiced this? ¿Alguna vez la pronunciación es, es para, para choosing. Algo así creo que pronunció. Para shooting. Para shooting. Ah, para shooting. Ah, para okay. shooting is this sport. This one. Para caerismo. Yes. Ajá. And skydiving is this one. Es como bucear en el cielo. That's why it's skydiving. <laughs> so look at here. It can be from a helicopter, from an airplane that they launch. So they are like diving in the sky. And after that, they use the parachute. The, the picture number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, this one. Es que no se le entiende mucho porque como que las letras están por el niño. No sé si se lo dice snow yes. o sí. No sé qué dice. race. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. No, but that one, no. Era de la, de la anterior y como escribí ahí, se quedó aquí marcada. But no, this one is like with a monocycle. Con un monociclo. Like, for example, in the, um, in the shows in the circus, they use this. They use that banner. Sí, sí, es bastante común. Right, I have seen here in San Salvador. He visto chicos aquí en San Salvador, de hecho, ya con monociclos. They use monocycles. It must be different, right? Debe ser algo difícil usarlo. Must be a little difficult. So it says here, do you know what a unicycle is? It's a bicycle with just one wheel. David Wischenberger of Australia has the world record for longest jump on a unicycle. He can jump 2.95 meters, about 10 feet. So he can jump right very high with this one. So this is representing abilities, abilities that this had. Do you have questions with this vocabulary of the reading about base jumping or about unicycle? New vocabulary, vocabulary nuevo, new vocabulary. Yes, 
teacher, what is the meaning of the world? Well, one one world. I don't know uh, what you say. Uh, in the purple area? Yeah. Here? It says yeah. will. You mean will? Will. Will in is one. this one. Is this object that they used to move. For example, the bicycles, they have two wheels. The cars have four wheels. Yes? This is a okay. wheel. Chantas. Right? Es una llanta. Aha, correct. That's why it says unicycle. Is only one. Only one wheel. Bicycle is two. Two wheels. Any other word? No question about it? Teacher, la traducción de parachuting Paracaidism. es parapente. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. Yes, they have also that way. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, let's go ahead on the next part of the reading. Look at these dogs. We know that dogs are very intelligent. They are very smart and they also have abilities. Now, the name of this dog is Otto, the skateboarding dog. So he can skateboard. Can you imagine? We have a question here. Do you know about Otto? Otto likes surfing, skateboarding, and playing soccer. Otto is a champion skateboarder, but he's a dog from Lima, Peru. Otto has the record for skateboarding through the legs of 30 people. Wow. So he's also a sports, a sport boy. Can you imagine? Have you seen some dogs that they have different abilities? They make tricks. New vocabulary of this? Skateboarding is patineta, ¿verdad? Ajá, skateboard. Ajá, pero dice que le gusta eh, surfing. Ajá, he likes surfing, actually. Ajá. So in the ocean. Es, pero eso no es, no es andar es, en patineta. Eh, no, skateboarding. Skateboarding Ajá. es andar en patineta. Entonces Pat a él le gusta surfear. Ajá. ¿sí? Y le gusta andar en patineta. And y also play en soccer. Ajá, y también juega. Ajá. Wow, so he has a lot of sports. Y se supone que, <laughs> que él salta hasta 30 personas en jugando, ¿verdad? And what he does is that skateboarding through the legs. Él anda mm. patinando y pasa por en medio de las piernas de 30 personas. Mm, mm -hmm. Ya lo entendí. So, practica oh. ese deporte. Ok. So, has a lot of sports, this dog. Thank Very you. energetic. <laughs> Now, let's check the next one. Can you squash an apple? Can you squash it using just the muscles in your arms? One, ma uh, one woman can. Her name is Lindsay Lindbergh. Lindsay is from Texas in the U.S. In one minute, she can squash 10 apples. That's one apple every six seconds. We have an action here, squash. Squash is this. Imagine you have something in your, with your hands. I'm sorry? It is, exactly. It's like, look at this. We have this tomato and this happens. To stop. So, what does this uh, woman do? What she does is that she squash apples with her arms. Remember, what are the arms? Con los brazos. Brazos. Aha, correct. Aplasta manzana con los brazos. Mm. And apples, they are not soft. Las manzanas no son suaves, right? They are kind of hard. So she can squash 10 apples. That's one apple every six seconds. In one minute, 10 apples. That's in a very minimum time. Do you have question with vocabulary here? No questions? 
Okay, let's go ahead on the next one. Thank you. This one is from India. That's why it has an, a strange name. Kalamandalam. It says, Hemalata of India has an amazing marathon record, but it's not for running. She can dance and dance and dance. In fact, Kalamandalam can dance for 123 hours and 15 minutes. That's the longest dance marathon on record. Kalamandalam's special dance is from India. It's called the Mohiniyatam dance. It's a different dance, actually. So the duration of her dance is a lot of time. Imagine 123 hours and 15 minutes. That's how many days? Like five days or four days? No, all right. It's like five days, approximately. Question about this? About the reading? Teacher, yes, el vocabulario de, the longest. The longest. The longest, longest dance marathon. El más, el más largo, el que lleva más tiempo. Uh -huh. Prolong Yo pensé que era prolongado. It can be, yes, yes, they are synonyms. Se toma, se lleva mm -hmm. más tiempo, el más prolongado, exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. On record. Okay. In a marathon, en una maratón de baile. So it has more time, el más prolongado, que se lleva más tiempo. Se ha ganado a los demás, right? Won in a competition. Any other question? All right, let's continue then. We have some questions here. That's about the reading. It says, read the records, then check the correct answers to the questions. We're going to read number one. Welcome, Evis. Hello, good evening. Teacher, teacher, good Hello. night. Hey, good evening. Lo siento. Welcome. Lo siento. <laughs> me tocó me, eh, este, conectarme tarde porque venía en la calle y no traía datos. Yeah, okay, you had the problem there. All right, no problem, you are okay. here. We're yeah, going to read this one. Nice okay, to see you again. Uh, one. What's, what's, what's special about, about a unicycle? Unicycle. 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 Thank you. What's the answer? We have option A and B. What's the special um, about a unicycle? Um... Uh, solo como me voy conectando, no le ah, yes, it's true. Un, yes, un true. Yeah, that's true. Yes, thank you. Yes. Let's see. Yes. It's letter Oscar. B. It's letter B, right? Correct. We have this one. We're going to put it here with this. It's letter B. So the answer is it has one wheel, not two. Mm -hmm. Habla sobre. Wheel. Teacher, eh, entrando, en, entrando en contexto, que pregun la pregunta es, ¿qué de especial eh, hay sobre un monociclo? Exactly. Monos That's why it's unicycle, uh -huh. correct? Mm -hmm. That's ah, according sí, to the reading. Respuesta. Sí, sí que tiene solo un, es solo para un asiento, no dos. Ajá, tiene una llanta. Solo ah, tiene perdón, una llanta. Una llanta. Uh -huh. yes, correct. Es, no, Will es, will es, es llanta. Uh -huh. ah. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's continue. Rene, read number two, please. Sería opción A. Ajá. But read the question, please. Read the question. Who likes? Who likes? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Base or vice? Base, base jumping. Base, base jumping. Base jumping. 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 Okay, so let's check here. If we go to the reading, base jumping. It was the previous one. It says in this one, look at here, it's saying that, but Fred. Who Jen and Bing's prefects. 
Oh, France can jump it. So that makes these two men like it. So they do okay. it. So who likes? La A. Number B. It's letter B, right? Because it's Fred. This name, David, is not in the list. He's not in the reading. But Fred Fujian, yes, he is in the reading. So let's put this one. That's the one that is correct. Mm, what about B. number three? Uh -huh, that's option B. Continue, Veronica Cepeda, please. Can you read the question? What sort of marathon can Kalamandalam do? Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. A, dance marathon. A dance marathon. Yeah, that's good because dance and dance and then dance. Thank you. That's all right. Good. Gabriela, Abigail, number four. How, how does Lindsay uh -huh. live? Limber? Limburg is squash apples. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? How? With her hands or with her arm muscles? Marielos? B, number B. Letter B. Letter B. Yeah. With her arm muscles. Yeah, it must be a very strong woman. Very good. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Let's continue then. Gen C, number five. Sí. Yes. Read number five, please. Uh, number cinco, five. That is correct. Number five. Uh, what, what is one sport that auto plays? Mm -hmm. Is Mm, soccer. Soccer, yes. Yeah, actually he plays three sports, right? Basketball is not in the list. It's not in the reading. The only option will be soccer. He plays this sport. That's all right. Good one. Okay, question about this? No, teacher. No questions? Mm -hmm. All right. Huh? Now we're going to go then with another another part that we're going to study. But first we are going to continue with our list. We're going to pass the list. Okay, teacher. Preston, okay, if you're there. Ada Lisette. Ada, Ada Lisette. I remember I saw Ada by there. Yes, Ada. teacher, I present. There you are. Thank you. Ana Beatriz? Ana Beatriz? Angelica Maria? Angelica Maria? Carlos Arturo? Present. Thank you, Carlos. Christian Daniel? I'm here. Thank you. Edith Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia. Fatima Yesenia. Gabriela Abigail. Present miss. Thank you, Gaby. Ivis Areli. Ivis. Present teacher. Thank you, Ivis. Jessica Franco. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica? Jessica Franco? Joaquin Jesus? Present. Thank you, Joaquin. Jonathan Adonai? Hello, present. Thank you, Jonathan. Juan Antonio? Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca? Present, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Kevin Orlando? Kevin Orlando, Lenin Monterrosa, Lenin Monterrosa, hijo present en el chat. Thank you so much. Liliana Patricia, Liliana Patricia, Luz Margel, present. Thank you, Luz. María de los Ángeles, present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto. 
Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. I'm present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you, René. Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Verónica. Thank you, Verónica. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Jensi. Jessica Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jessica. And Jessica Vanessa. Rivas. Jessica Rivas. I saw Jessica by there. Present teacher. Thank you so much. All right, let's go on. All right, here we are with these ones. Now we'll continue with another part. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, me está dando problemas mi equipo. Me voy a salir uh -huh. y voy okay. a, a volver a entrar. Okay, that's correct. We wait for Gracias. you. Thank you. We'll continue then with this part. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using Ken for ability. So now let's see, formulate questions with Ken. Look at these abilities. We have do a handstand. Do a handstand is this action. Now you stand with your two hands. Pararse en dos manos, right? Let's do a handstand. Juggle balls. Juggle balls. Can you do that? Some people have that ability, right? Have you noticed in the traffic? In traffic, when the, the red lights, the traffic light My is... My mother a... juggle balls. She does that? Wow, that's very cool. So they throw the balls, right? They have that ability. Como que, uh -huh. Teacher, creo yes. que todos lo hemos intentado ese yes, de uh, juggle, juggle, juggle balls. balls. I can do it, but what we took. <laughs> Uno empieza bien y la coordinación hace falta. That is the truth, the coordination, and you have to be fast. Rapidez sí. y coordinación, right? It has to be fast in coordination. Because I can Pero do it, but we took. It's true. It's just the practice. So it's the same that I can do a handstand, I can juggle balls, play a musical instrument. And we have some questions here. Can you do a handstand? If it's affirmative mm -hmm. short answer, you say, yes, I can. Or, no, I can't. No, I can. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Nuestro yes, peso, I bueno, can. en mi casa el peso no nos da. Can you do it? it? Normally, kids do it, right? Los niños, kids. Ah, sí. Kids, they have that ability, right? The other one will be, can you juggle balls? Can you juggle balls? And we can also include another one here. To change this one, how will be the question? Can you play the piano? Mm -hmm. That will be that question. So let's have this one. As we know, in the questions, in all of the type of questions, we need to change the position of an auxiliary in the subject. We have questions with can. Yes, no questions will be this one. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can she sing? Can he sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? And let's see about the answers that we have. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, she can. Or if it's negative, right? Remember, in affirmative, all of the subjects are possible. So yes, she can. Yes, he can. Yes, we can. Yes, they can. If it's negative, all of them are possible too. No, I can't. 
It'll be, no, she can't. No, you can't. No, he can't. No, we can't. Or no, they can't. All of the subjects are possible to use. Affirmative sure. or the negative. Yes. Hey, you're back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no sé qué ha estado, Tish. Really? Este, <laughs> sí. You didn't el disconnect? Detalle... Uh -huh, sí, no, 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 yo aquí he estado, aquí he estado. El, <laughs> el, cuando uno está, digamos, cuando me refiero a mí, uh -huh. tengo que en, en, negat en negativo, entonces, no, en negativo. Eh, ah, okay. Voy a decir que no, entonces no, I digo can't. I can't o digo I no can't. Mm, can't. Can't, because Ajá. you need to use negative after the modal. Se utiliza eh, la negativa sí, después de último. Ajá, después del modal. Ajá. Este, este modal es que auxiliar, es como que diga, no, I don't. Siempre el negativo va de ir después del auxiliar. No, por eso, pero yo, pero siempre cuando estoy refiriendo. Hello. Edith. Sí. Como que se escuché cortado. En serio. Ok, ok, bueno, yes. Bueno. Now it says, Bye. if it's with uh, the subject, I say, no, I can't. Can't. Ajá, siempre a eso siempre, me refiero. Ajá, siempre el negativo va a ir después de mi auxiliar. Que en este caso es can't. No, you can't. No, I can't. Siempre, siempre va a llevar la misma posición. Ah, uh, ya, yeah. uh -huh. ok. Entonces, eh, no, you can't. No, she can't. No, he can't. No, I no, can't. Mira qué bonito este trajecito que encontró la Isa. Ok, gracias. So you have negative gracias, form here. You're very welcome. This is in the case of the yes, no questions. But in the case of WH questions, remember we investigate a specific information. We need to have a WH word. Then you need an auxiliary. In this case, it's can. You have the subject and the verb. For example, what can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? What can you do? What ability do you have? I can dance. You can say, I can play the drums. What are the drums? The drums. Uh -huh. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Musical instrument. You are in a music um, band. Ba, 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 ba. Percusión. La percusión. They are of percussion. La batería. Ajá, voy a tocar la batería. You can play the drums. Correct. Which sport can you play? Remember which is a specific. In this case, a specific sport. So, a specific sport that you have the ability to play. For example, I can play ping pong, you could say. Let's check another one. What kind of music can you dance? We know that there exists a lot of types of music. Tell me, what kind of music can you dance? I can salsa. I can. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. Sorry. Uy, merengue. Merengue. Okay. I can dance. I can dance. Merengue. That's good. Okay. Now tell me all the abilities that you have. You have a lot of abilities. What about you? Let's see. Eh, Ibis, tell me, what can you do? Mention abilities. Uh, I can play to, I can play piano. I piano. can play piano? Uh-huh. What else? Mention another ability. What other? Yes, another ability. Um, I can. I can cook. I can cook. Okay, that's another ability, right? Yeah, that's true. Marielos, what about you? I can dance. I can, I can dance. Can, uh -huh. And I can play basketball. Play basketball, yeah, that's good. You're a basketball mm -hmm. player. That's right, good mm -hmm. one. Veronica, what about you? What can you do? I can hand embroider. Ah, nice. Very good. Nice. Edith, what about you? I, I can, pero es que no sé cómo se dice cortar cabello. Eh, ah, I, cut hair. I can uh -huh, cut hair. hair. That's I, good. 
I stylist. I am a stylist. Ah, sí. okay. A hairdresser. You are. All right, that's good. <laughs> I can cut hair. Cut hair. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's nice. So you are a hair stylist. Very good. Nice. What about you, <laughs> eh, Gabriela Abigail? Which sport can you play? Gabriela? I can soccer. I can play? I can play soccer. That's all right. Excellent. Let's see, Veronica Alegría. Which sport can you play? I can play... Uh... No juego ninguna teacher, pero hay que softball, fútbol, voleibol, softball. Ah, okay. Complete, please. <laughs> Which sport can you play? I, I can. I can play. I can play softball. Softball. Very good. Christian, tell us what kind of music can you dance? The microphone, please, Christian. Excuse yes. me. Thank you. I can dance uh, salsa music. Salsa music, hey, that's cool. We can go to the disco, everyone with the group, right, to dance. <laughs> Let's see, Rene Alonso, what about you? What kind of music can you dance? I can. The music. I can dance and mention the, the class of music. Mm -hmm. If it's reggaeton, rock and roll. Damn. <laughs> cumbia. Cumbia, yes, cumbia, yes. <laughs> Imagine for cumbia Christmas. Reggaeton. You see? Do you dance reggaeton? Can you dance reggaeton? <laughs> yes. Eh, you see? <laughs> we can dance reggaeton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all of these are abilities, right? But we can also ask the yes, no questions. So we have here other examples. It says, Kayla is talking about things she can and can't do. Complete the sentences. Then compare with the partner. Well, we did this activity, right? With the exercise. But now let's have here some questions as a yes, no question. It says, ask and answer questions about the pictures in part A. In the part A, can Kayla draw? Oscar? Can Kayla draw? What's the answer? Oscar, can you listen to us? No? no Catherine? No? She can't. No, she can't. That's good. We have a negative answer, right? So this one, we put emphasis on the negative. No, she can't. That's all right. Let's remember something. That when we have an answer and this one is short, it's necessary that being negative, but contraction. So incorrect if we respond like this. No, she cannot. Thanks. Because it's short answer. But if you give a complete answer, that is correct to use it like this. No, she cannot draw. Se pronuncia mejor así. Uh -huh. It's better. Está. Exactly. You Más identify fácil. it better. Exactly. Se identifica mejor y se complica menos para pronunciar. Mm -hmm. But the two forms are correct. You say, no, she can't. Or no, she cannot draw. Cannot. But when it's complete answer, if you have complete answer, then it's correct to use the complete manner. An exception, if it's your answer. In negative, no, she can't. Now, let's ask another one. If I ask, let's see, Veronica Cepeda. Now, you're going to formulate a question. Formulate the questions to Marielos. Investigate about Kayla. You have here four pictures. Okay. Can Kayla... You can use three actions. Act. Excellent. Can you repeat it, please? Can Kayla act? Very good. Thank you. 
Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Very good job. Veronica Alegría, you formulate the questions to Christian. Can Kayla sing? Can Kayla sing? Nice. Can Kayla sing? Very good. No, she can't. Excellent. That is correct. Good one. Uh, Gabriela Vigayo? Sí. Yes. You formulate the question to Adalise. De cualquiera, Miss. Uh -huh. The Sorry, question teacher, that you prefer. Repeat, please. Yeah, sure. Um, I can remember you formulate the question. Can Kayla? Can Kayla fix car? That's good. Repeat it, please. Can Kayla? Can Kayla fix cars? Ada? Nice. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. I answer? Yeah, you need to answer. If it's affirmative or negative. Remember here is according to, uh, to Kayla's information. If she has the ability or not. Uh... Repeat the question. Can you repeat it, please? Can Kayla fix cars? Thank you. Um, yes, she can. Yes, she can. Right. Yes, that is correct. Yes, Very good job. Nice. Roxana Guadalupe, are you present? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Yes, I'm present. All right. Formulate another question, please. You're going to ask Jessica Rivas. Um, ¿Cómo? O sea, ¿cómo te, formulate, ¿cómo te... formulate the question. Like, for example, can Kayla draw? Can Kayla act? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Jessica dijo el nombre, ¿verdad? Ajá, tú, Jessica Rivas. Um, can Jessica. Can sí. Kayla. Can Kayla. Ah, okay. Can Kayla sing? Mm -hmm. Can Kayla sing? She can sing. She yes can. or no? Yes or no? Eh, escuché que lo mencionó afirmativo, pero, pero ahí es negativo. Por eso dije but, can't. But, uh, hi, but it's a question. When it's can a question, you say, sing. can Kayla sing? And your answer is no. Oh, no, she can't. She can't. Uh -huh. So that will be the negative, right? The negative manner. Oh, no. Thank you. Luz, now you ask the questions to Rene. Luz, are you present? Yes. Yes, Luz? Yes. Formulate the question, please, to Rene about Kayla. ¿Qué número sería? The one that you prefer. El que usted prefiera. Um, you select one, one picture. Uh, can Kayla draw? Can Kayla draw? All right. No, she can't. No? No, she can't. She can't. Yes, that's correct. No, she can't. That's all right, guys. Okay, yeah. tell me, do you have questions? No. No, teacher. No questions about it? No, all right. Okay, let's have the last question then. Tell me, let's see. Roxana, Roxana, are you there? Roxana? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Roxana, a direct question. Can you play the guitar? No, I cannot. No, I can't. I can't. When is your answer? Cuando es una respuesta corta y es negativa, es necesario darla contractada. Si es completa, incluimos el verbo. No, I cannot play the guitar. So, no, I can't. Oh, okay. Yes, 
Okay, now let's see. Marielos, Marielos, can you swim? Yes, I can. Excellent, that's good. Edith, can Marielo swim? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Excellent, Joe. That's great. Okay, tomorrow we continue with this, all right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Very good job. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Bring with the angels. Have a good night. Take care. Uh,